Good morning, Southern Chaos Channel. Oh, I had like a nice, I think we went to bed about three o'clock our time, two o'clock their time, and it's already seven o'clock their time. So only really got a couple hours of sleep and uh, the air mattress went flat. So I slept on tile last night. So that's, that's always good. But we're out here, out here, out here, out here. Sunny, beautiful. Let me turn this camera around so you can see this place. Freaking nice, man. They just put up, they had some, some grass put in. Every single one of these are power and water hookups, which is super nice. If I would have known about it, I would have bought one. They're all, they're all reserved, but we picked a pretty prime location as we pulled in late as hell last night trying to figure it out. But this is the main road. So you pretty much would back out your pit, go straight down this road. And then that chain link fence up there is the staging lane. So super simple. Go make a lick down the track, make a pass, get your ticket right there, and then loop right back into the pit. So it's nice and easy. Nice little half mile track, or sorry, fucking eighth mile track. But I'm gonna have to go up there and look at their stadium and stuff. Got nice ass bleachers now. Nice timing tower. Super cool. I'm impressed. Let's get this camp unloaded. All right, guys. Well, me and Antoine are here. It's a beautiful, beautiful sunny day. Nobody here yet. And we're going to test out the draggy. We got ourselves a draggy this time, so if they don't give us time slips, we're still going to know what Spanky runs. But to have some fun, we're going to test it out and see what's the fastest. The scooter, Anthony Segway 9-Bot over there, my dad's golf cart, or the push cart. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, we got a nice little surface right here, about a 660. We're gonna do a, we're gonna do a eighth, or, yeah, you can do an eighth mile. Jesus. We're gonna do an eighth mile pool and see what these things got. And then, uh, don't really know what the winner gets yet, so I'm stay tuned. laid down a remarkable 24 48 at 20 miles an hour on the pit bike up next the yamaha golf cart
All right, the golf cart was a 2396. Now we're gonna get Anthony on the Segway and then we're gonna get my golf cart. So we're gonna see which is the fastest. Right now, the golf cart, this golf cart beat my pit bike by a half second. Segway was 35 seconds at 17 mile an hour, which is putting that in last place. And now we're on the Southern Chaos golf cart. I'm gonna brake boost this thing. I gotta beat my dad's cart. So I know I'm faster out of the hole, but his big tires makes the speed up top a little bit better, but I just gotta get a good launch. Just like I figured the bigger tires on my dad's would come around and get a faster speed. We went a 2470. He went a 2396. Anthony went a 35. And the pit bike, what did the pit bike do? Uh, 2460 24, something? Yeah. So I think it was my dad's cart, the little pit bike, the golf cart, and then Anthony's Segway. But my golf cart out 60 footed my dad's, but by the 330, he went 1290 with a zero. I went 1299. So he started, I started slowing down by the 330 is where he got me, but got some cars showing up. Let's get to, get to some action. How y'all doing? Good, yeah, look at that, dude. They got a mini bar. The bar opening tonight? The lounge. Like tomorrow? Bar's open tonight. Wow. Seating. 55 inch TVs. We got plenty of beer. This way, bud. American flag bleachers. Oh, okay. About to go up to the top. Man, look at the view up here. Flat screens. Couches over here to hang out on. Can you get over there? This far? guys haven't been here I might as well show you what it's all about dude it's so cool freaking mini lounge couches burnout box 60 foot right there what? get it that's killer It's <laughs> cold. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Oh. Right in the mouth.
Nice hit straight. Nice pass. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Go! Go! Alright, so <clears throat> here's the next day. These two lines, I don't know if you can tell, this line running all the way up, and this line running all the way up. These are the slide marks from the car. I'm gonna go down and then turn around and so you can see it both ways, but coming through the traps. It's hard to tell right here because it's somewhat prepped now, but they were only prepping up there. So you were letting off into non-prepped area. Car got sideways through here. And tire tracks right here. These two go straight up and you'll be able to see it up there. Uh, straight sliding this whole way. Slide, slide, slide. trying to transition back this way. Slide sideways, slide sideways, slide sideways. And it started coming across to the center. And at this point, you only got about 200 foot before the end of the track. And I, then I was going left, started hopping right here. And it starts to lighten out. And I got it out of control and was able to get off at the end. Super sketchy. And this is from the other way. You can see them start like right here, start hopping. Right here. Well guys, it is the next morning after uh, getting slightly crazy with Spanky. Um, kind of a weird situation. Um, haven't raced Spanky this fast on a true eighth mile track in a long, 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 long time. And we're going every bit of probably 30 mile an hour faster to the eighth than we ever have. Well, since I've raced on an eighth mile track, but pretty much, uh, come through the traps because normally we race on like quarter mile tracks to hell south georgia is a half mile track now so you got all the time in the world to lift you don't have to you know you don't have to throw the shoots at a specific time you don't have to hell i don't even throw the shoots half the time because uh we have so much shutdown but this track is a true eighth mile track and did not throw the shoots uh it was a mixture you know a little bit of mixture between there was an oil down right before me and uh, Justin went down and then also me not throwing the chutes. And I mean, the end comes quick on this track or an eighth mile track in general when you're going as fast as we're going. So all I could do was uh, keep calm and keep the car as safe as possible off the wall, left and right, like you've seen in the video. Uh, the marks, as soon as I came through the traps, it was like slow motion, you know what I mean? Just thing came right thing came left and then once it once the third time it started really slaying through that wall as it went as you saw one black mark it was on that one tire that one back tire so it was a sketchy ride i don't know how fast truthfully it started happening i looked at the tpms sensor on the log and i held into the i was still in the throttle at like five seconds so i mean and no, that's not me telling you my times. That's just me telling you when I lifted off the damn throttle, which I don't know how fast I was going at that point, but I was going fast and sliding sideways at that fast is not fun at all. So today we will be throwing the chutes 150 foot or so, probably 100 foot before the timing tower. The timing tower, I went out there this morning and it is truthfully the eighth mile mark. 
So I will be throwing them out before because it takes a little bit. These aren't, this isn't a launcher parachute, which after that, <clears throat> if I'm going to start coming up here and racing tracks like this, because this track is nice. Track is, the facility's killer. And we went fast. That pass, we went very fast. Uh, a same almost same almost personal best 60 foot and everybody saying that the track was not there the track was there um <clears throat> but it was a mixture between the oil down at the end of the track um and just the surface the surface prep towards the end there's uh it goes from you know straight good prep to pretty much asphalt like this so slow down no parachute i mean it was a straight up mixture of things so i can't blame the track i can't blame anything it's just the way it happened and uh that's racing for you so today is uh saturday we looked over the car we have no flat spots we're going to keep the same tune up in it from last night because it did get down um we're going to try it in the heat today see how it goes and then uh get into racing you know sometimes you gotta sometimes racing comes with a scare and um you gotta brush that shit off you gotta keep going um, I know I scared the shit out of my mom and my wife, so, so I didn't go. I didn't go back up there and test anymore last night. We kind of relaxed. I grabbed a mixed drink and I said, oh, "I'm gonna watch these grudge races and just kind of let yesterday go by." So Spanky's good. <clears throat> I'm good. Um, weirdly, I was calm, cool, and collective at the end of that, and people were like, "What? What's wrong with you?" and Unfortunately, you have to be like that. You can't you can't overreact. When you overreact and panic, that's when you that's when you wreck your shit. Um, <clears throat> but I appreciate it. Oh, and the worst part, the worst part, and I'm truthfully sorry. And this is how it happens. It seems like this is how it always happens with anybody. Um, the GoPro footage in the car wasn't even on. No GoPro footage. So all I have is the takeoff video, and then my dad was on uh, Facebook Live. So the video is shit. So that is my bad, but you know, hey, that's how it goes sometimes. But <clears throat> we're gonna get into this today's racing and uh, we'll catch you on the next clip and see how far we go today. So hit the like and subscribe, catch you on the next one.